Coming for you guys. I'm doing all the all the uh, the gifts now. Good. Hey guys, it is Bobby Bones. Welcome to Too Much Access. We're at UCF. We're with starting quarterback John Rice Plumley. We're gonna catch some balls. We're gonna catch up. We're also with former national championship coach Gus Malzahn. We're not just with them. We're playing golf with them and talking about his career. They gave us too much access. We're in Orlando. We're at the campus of UCF, and we are at what they call the Dinch. 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 This is the football facility. And we're gonna go and tour it. It's their first year in the Big 12. And then they got a quarterback that's real good, John Rice Plumley, and I'm gonna catch some balls. It's gonna be an awesome day. Let's go. With you being here working under Malzahn, Coach Malzahn, who is an offensive guru, genius, whatever term they're using this season, like what is that like as a quarterback? How hard was it to come in and understand what he's trying to do with his philosophy? Unbelievable offensive mind, right? Like you can go back and watch Coach Malzahn wherever he's been. He's been successful on the offensive side of the ball. Like he's really, really good at scheming up defenses. Offenses do a lot of the same. Everybody's going to run inside zone. Everybody's going to going to run stretch plays. Everybody's going to have a couple of shots, some quick game stuff. I think it's about how you call it and how you execute it. What Coach Malzahn really preaches to us, it's not the X's and O's. It's about how well you execute what we're doing here. And so he's one of the best coaches I've ever had, for sure. Ready, go! The Jeans McGee. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> what do the teammates think, like, in baseball? Like, is there, do you, is there anyone else that's really good at football, too, and they're just like, why does JR get man? to do that? Yeah, I mean, on, <laughs> on, both, on both teams, there's always guys that are like, dude, I can... I can play line on the baseball team. I can play linebacker, 100%. And I'm like, hey man, I'm looking at you right now, and I look at the linebackers that we have on the team. They would eat you for breakfast. Like it would not even be close. And then of course there's some football guys that are like, oh yeah, I can hit homers. Good. That was awesome. Yeah, heck yeah. Thank you. Maybe uh, maybe we have a spot for you this year on the team. Could oh, be. Oh, Could oh, be. That's it. Could be. That's it. Hit that ridge. Ooh. Hit that ridge. Ooh. That's oh. a good shot. Good shot hey, right there. Hey, good shot. Hey, hey. The kick six, that play yeah. just seemed to happen. Yeah. And, and the fact that it was not a hold blows yeah. my right. mind. Yeah. Their starter missed like two or three field goals. They put their back up in. That's a big moment. It was 56 yards. The breeze was blowing in their face. And to be honest with you, I was thinking it could be a fake. You know, but we just called timeout. We moved Chris Davis back. He wasn't, he was normally on the block. That was the first time we did it. And I just told our guys, I said, they've got two defensive guys at the wings. The rest are offensive linemen. If it's short, block those two defensive linemen. Halfway there, I saw it. My eyes go to the line of scrimmage, and we're blocking those two guys. I'm about the 50 yard line. They come by, and there were some good blocks, you know. And so Chris Davis went by me. There's not a white shirt within 15 yards. So what do you do as a coach? I'm looking for flags. And then I, I, I didn't even see him score, but. I just went, wow, we just beat them boys like that. It was kind of a real <laughs> surreal moment, you know. One of the craziest sporting moments I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, Bobby, I think probably better play football. You guys are moving to the Big 12, and this is the year for that. Did you kind of see that coming? Yeah, so Terry Mahajer was my ED at Arkansas State, you know, in 2012. And so when he got the job here and he hired me, I, I knew that we were going to be in a Power Five. I just didn't know it was going to be the Big 12. I think the Big 12 really fits us well. You know, it's a really good conference. It's really deep from top to bottom, and you know, we're we're blessed to be a part of it. You know, you had scratches on your knees. You just got through catching like four out of five punts. That's true. You should have won something. Celebrated you know, me with I, something. Yes. Yeah, we really should have. We dropped the ball on, on that one. Hey! Uh oh. Uh oh. One more.
after watching that video, uh, I quit football. <laughs> Looks too intense for me, but I can definitely see why people want to go here. Yeah, just doing some curls. Uh, eight sets of 12, is that what you said? Can you tell me why the stadium is called the Bounce House? Yes, I can. The very first game, they played the University of Texas and they were playing some music and all the students and all the fans were bouncing up and down and literally it was bouncing up and down. That's why I called the Bounce House. Thank you very much. Thanks for all your time. Appreciate it. See ya. You guys, UCF, appreciate you guys for having us out. Go Knights. Charge on. Charge on. See you guys. Let's go. Oh, it's the rival camera group. Sure. Football content guy and general athletics photographer. You ever see uh, Anchorman where they fight? That, like the news crews? That's what I felt like. <laughs> I got a feeling you guys are not going to lose if I'm looking at you, so I'm on their team. Oh my god! Yes! Hola. I think that says you're the biggest school. <laughs> the longer Chick-fil-A lines.